I took it at 11 in the afternoon on Monday, I need to be there by Thursday at 10.59. I did not make that. Ended up getting a test scheduled, but it can't get scheduled until Saturday, and it is currently Thursday evening. I'll be hanging out here for a day, taking my test Saturday morning. If I'm a couple days behind, find out. Okay, finally made it out of, of the border. I was there for three hours. Just three. It drove me freaking crazy. But made it. Going, I just hit Canada. I'm gonna try to make it as far as I can. But I got, it's seven o'clock right now and I'm hoping to get there by midnight. So, we will see. I doubt it, but I'm gonna try to make it to Edmonton. Hopefully weather cooperates and we can get things going. So, let's get to Lethbridge. It's about 50 miles, 60 miles away. So, let's do this. Okay, just filled up in Calgary. Uh, didn't fill up as much as I thought in the last stop, but uh, we're topped off now, and we're gonna try to make it to Edmonton tonight. We shall see. So we have about two and a half hours of driving left, and it is 10 o'clock, so hopefully we can make it. Okay, we just took exit 43, or exit to highway 43. Roadside turnout right here. 
this is where we're gonna sleep tonight. It's 1.35 in the morning. Got an early day, so we made it pretty good distance today. See you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. It has been a few hours. It is almost seven o'clock. I was up for about six hours. Five and a half, six. We are gonna get after this. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day today. So, let's get after this drive, shall we? Start up the truck, get going. It is a nice, brisk 14 degrees out. Yeah, let the truck warm up a little bit. Get those fluids around, then we're gonna hit this road. It's nice, it's a nice day today. But pink sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Remember that, taught that by my mama. But pink sky at night, sailors delight. So, might get stormy, it's only orange though, it's not really pink, so, you know, who knows? It's, a, it's all up in the air at this point. Okay, so I think I just saw some dude steal a mask from a gas station. So I wa I'm walking out and this guy walks in because I got my, my honey glazed donut and my chocolate milk for breakfast and uh, breakfast of champions. He walks in, no mask. He's like, hey, do you have a mask? And she's like, yeah, would you like to buy one? I said, sure. You know, so he grabs it and then he like walks to the back of the store. I buy my stuff and he walks out right in front of me. He's like, hey, I'll be right back. And so then I get in my truck and I start, you know, get everything situated so I can drive away and then he just freaking burns out and just cooks I mean Brody and everything just whoa 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 you know and I was thinking to myself like damn what's this guy doing like he's freaking crazy and then I realized he left with the mask <laughs> so man people are crazy man they're out here stealing masks and stuff shoot man that is crazy I didn't even wear a mask in there man come on Jeez, if you're, if you're that stressed out about it, man, just stay home. <laughs> man we made it to Grand Prairie we are looking good it's looking dirty I don't know what it is about getting a truck dirty that I love so much but I just do so we're gonna go get some Wendy's and hit the road it is uh, like 10 30 11 and let's get back after this drive famous Alaska Highway. If you haven't traveled it, you should. At least once in your life. Why not? For 45 miles, continue straight. It's quite beautiful. Quite beautiful. Okay, made it to Fort St. John. And uh, we're gonna go inside here after we're done filling up. We're gonna go inside and uh, get some energy drinks for the next like two days. So I'm gonna get like four of them. It's gonna be great. Renegade's holding up excellent. Doing a great job, great job. Probably should clean off the, the lights and such because you never know 
Never know when the next chance will be. It might be frozen, they might be empty. So I'm gonna clean those off, then go get some energy drinks, and then hit the road. I'm really digging the rain drinks right now. Um, they're supposed to be healthier, and they still have 300 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's hit the road, Jack. Let's hit the road, Jack. Let's do this. <laughs> Can you tell I'm losing my mind? Just driving? It's okay though. It's almost there. We're over halfway, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but it is windy. We gotta go back over into that. It's clouds over there. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's good. We get as far as we can tonight. And then pull over. We're going to try to get to Toad River, or past Toad River, as close to Tesla as we can tonight. The wind is insane, meaning that this is... Whoa, there's a, something going on right there. <laughs> um, firefighters and such were right there. Uh, but there's obviously a big weather system coming in or something because it is windy. So um, hopefully we'll get as far as we can tonight and hopefully get to at least Toad River Hopefully the road conditions are permissive. Tires are doing really good, um, holding up really well. Everything, truck's running great. Everything's running, running really well. So I'm really confident in making the stretch, and uh, I'm excited to get this road trip done. I didn't take as much leisurely time. Um, you know, I'm driving a lot more than I was uh, last time. Um, you know, at night and things, and. Uh, you know, it's because I got I got put behind with the maintenance of the truck. So I'm feeling a little bit rushed on this trip, but still got to be safe and travel travel smart. So, all right, well, let's continue on. clouds and snow and then just moments later it can be turning into just wind and rough roads blinding snow it's just amazing how in such a short time of driving you can experience all these different road conditions it really is unique Man, last time I was here, they had their old sh shack right here. And this was in the back getting built. Man, this place is coming a long ways. That's cool. Good for them. Yeah, Toad River. That's where we're at right now. If you know 
know it's expensive when a half a tank costs almost a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. So a uh, driver that was uh, that just left, he actually said um, he's going up north, but some drivers going down south. Um, while he was here getting his food and stuff, said that there's buffalo all over the road up here um, by Whitehorse, so um, or between here and Whitehorse or something. So. Um, yeah, who knows? Be safe, right? Safety first or last? I don't know. <laughs> I am so tired. Made 18 hour day today. So that was really good. I haven't actually mapped out how far we went. We're at Watson Lake and this morning we started off uh, outside of Edmonton. So um, yeah, I don't know how far we actually went today. Not yet anyways, but Renegade is holding up great. He's looking dirty. Looks like he's going fast. Look at all that speed. Looking good though, looking good. I like it. It's all holding together. Filling up, getting some drink. And then we're gonna go park. Go to sleep. So I will see you guys in the morning. And hopefully we can get to Palmer tomorrow. Pull another 18 hour day. <laughs> All right, so get this. I pull off the side of the road. There's like a little pull out that like dozers push some snow out of the way. And so I back into it, you know, you know, getting ready for bed, brush my teeth and whatnot. And then I get this really eerie feeling like, man, I just, you know, it's eerie. It's like someone's watching. It's like someone's around, like something. It's kind of creepy. So I finished brushing my teeth, climb in the truck, turn on the interior light. Luckily, I still have my headlights on, but then I see this guy freaking walking towards me, and I'm like two or three miles out of town. 